Good morning. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I've done this a handful of times in the past, but I'm gonna take you through an entire week in my work life. This is definitely gonna focus more on like the nitty gritty behind the scenes, editing, filming, coaching, all of the things. So we're just gonna hop right on into it. <sighs> it is Monday morning. 8 a.m. If you were around during Vlogmas, you know that is my favorite time to wake up. But let's chat a little bit about the plan for the day as I start to put my face on. The first thing today is at nine and it is a virtual consultation. This is for a potential new personal training client. I did end up losing one of my clients at the end of the year, which was kind of expected based off of, you know, the time commitment that we had originally talked about. So I have a call with someone from my wait list today and I have a virtual training session. I'm gonna try and edit a YouTube video in there. Have another virtual training session. Then I'm gonna go to a gym in Astoria to train another client. And then I'm gonna go to my gym and get in my workout. And then I'm gonna come home and get prepped for my dance cardio class tonight, which is Disney Hits. So I feel like that's a nice, like, balanced Monday. And in case for some reason this is the first video that you've clicked on of mine and you're like, what do you do? <laughs> I am a certified functional strength and conditioning coach based out of New York City. And there's two main pillars of my business. I offer private coaching, so personal training, whether that's in person, whether that's virtual. And then the other half of my business is the Fit Club. So the Fit Club is an unlimited workout platform where you have on-demand workouts, live classes, progressive programs. Obviously it's the month of January and this is a very important month or can be a very important month for, month for fitness. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw and took advantage of the free week of live classes and their replays that I was offering, well, last week, but not last week when you were watching this video. And honestly, the turnout was like, so much better than I could have hoped. I made a video talking about like the free week and my intentions behind it and was very clear like, this is marketing. <laughs> the end goal is to convert people into clients. But if you're not into that, all good. Just, you know, keep interacting with stuff on YouTube. But I did end up getting a good chunk of new members into the Fit Club and I'm just very grateful and happy. And it's just nice when like you have an idea for something and you execute it well, and then the outcome is like better than what you could have expected. Very happy. You know, I recently moved the entire Fit Club from a different platform, which was definitely like a scary risk. I'm super happy with the shift. I think it was the best thing I could have done to see scale the business because the old site just wasn't super functional, especially on the client end, but it was also just so much more work for me because I was literally building everything from scratch and she's not a web developer. So being on a platform that is like literally built for this is just so much better. But you know, to be perfectly honest with you guys, that was a really scary move because unfortunately I had to move payment processors. So that means that even though it was very easy to make everyone new accounts, like I just had to give my new platform, the developers like everyone's name and email and the date that their membership renews. But after you get your welcome email, you have to re-enter your credit card. So it's just that moment of like people logging in and saying, mm, you know, I don't really need this anymore. And that definitely happened. I probably had like a 20% loss, which is better than I was expecting. I was mentally prepared for half, but I definitely recouped that and more during this like New Year's sale and big promotion. So I'm very happy. It may seem like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. I'm actually kind of convinced no one knows what they're doing. So when you do make a decision and like it works out, that move worked out. I'm so happy I did it before January. So I could really just like get the kinks out of everything. Here hear me talk a lot about the back end of business stuff. So that's what you're getting in this video. I think I'm gonna, ooh, it's a hair washing night tonight. I think I'm gonna put this bad boy in a braid. I'm gonna need some dry shampoo. We'll come back, we'll get this situated. I'm actually not gonna get dressed yet because I'm just gonna sit here and chat. So she's only gonna see me from here up. Behind the scenes, baby. All right, and then we have to prep for this call because I haven't looked at her intake form yet. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the main things that I'm gonna be looking at are this person's goals, any injuries, equipment they have access to, exercises they love, exercises they hate. And then I like to write reminders for myself down here that they get a Fit Club membership. Sessions are 45 minutes. I can assign them homework and no long-term commitment. Amazing, so I'm gonna fill this out, but not gonna show you because that would be bad business practices. I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, it happens to all of us. Cheers, how's it going?
All right, we're gonna set up for the first client of the day, so I have to take the equipment that I need from the other room and pull it into this room. So let's do that. Good, yeah, last one. Start that exhale as you start to stand. We're gonna reverse lunge back, tap it. So we're basically just getting a deeper stretch on that glute because we're getting into a little more hip flexion, okay? Ugh, okay. That was a fun session. So what I'm gonna do for the next hour and a half is try and edit a whole YouTube video. So let's see how this goes. Here's my external hard drive. I have two different final cuts. One is for like workouts, one is for YouTube. All right, so I just like to organize everything by date on the side. So I'm gonna make a new event, just the date. And this is lessons I've learned. I'm pretty sure this video has already come out by the time you're seeing this. So did I make a thumbnail? Yes, I want a teethy smile or a non-teethy smile. We'll take both. So I just screenshot. That's cute. So now I'm just gonna drag in the whole clip. It's about 21 minutes. I should be able to get this done in an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go over to the volume tab and I'm just gonna let it like analyze the audio. Great, so that's done. Now I'm going to Balance the color, so it's just like an auto thing that this can do. I like to add a sharpen on top to make it a little crisper. And then I typically can get away with just this cool color board. And that always looks pretty nice. So we won't go through this whole thing together because that would be incredibly boring. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking. So I always like to add this little, that's a sound effect on my, hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we're gonna go into these graphics. The sound effect I use there is swish one, as opposed to swish two. I always lower it down to negative five, so it's not like crazy loud. And I'm gonna go down. This is my new intro. So to get rid of the green, we have to go into masks and keying. Green screen layer keyer. And now it's a little green screen. So. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And I wanna cut out those little pauses just to make it a little crisper. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna to sit back, get comfy, talk about the fitness industry. A little more pause there. So I'm just gonna kind of like plow through this, get as much as I can done. Hopefully I'm done before my next client at 12.30. See ya. I've been working in the industry it really is not a long time and especially because the first two years of that last thing drop to your eights now we're just going to do some standing bicep curls all the way up full extension at the bottom and really controlling the lowering all right I'm en route en route en route I'm on my way to actually train a couple in person so I'm heading to the gym now I actually kind of messed up and I breakfast too late so I wasn't hungry at lunchtime but now I'm hungry and I'm not going to be home until 4 30 because I'm going to the gym after I train these clients so I'm going to stop and get like a protein bar to hold me over I'll have late lunch when I get home and then I'll have dinner after I teach my class so let's go do that We're back from the gym, we're back from our client. I'm going to write down any of the songs for tonight that I'm not super like confident in and we'll take it from there. All right, program is written, full class is here. Let's get ready. All right. I think we're gonna sign off here for the day. The only thing I've left is to teach my class and then I gotta shower and do human things. So I'm gonna see you bright and early, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Hinge down and rotate. Hello, good morning. It's almost 11 a.m. Sorry we haven't chatted yet. We have a friend staying with us 
from last night and then tonight. So I didn't want to just be like talking to my camera, but Kevin and him stepped out for a little bit. So let's chat really quickly about this very long day. I taught my strength training class at 8 a.m. Then I edited and uploaded that class. Right now I'm working on editing a YouTube video all about like priming the central nervous system, which may have already come out. <laughs> then I have a virtual client and then I'm heading into Manhattan to train my in-person client. I'm coming back here. I'll have a little break. So I'll make sure I eat dinner. Oh my gosh, also eat lunch before you go, Justina. <laughs> and then I have two clients at the end of the day. I don't usually work this late. I'm not done till like 7.30, 7.15. So I'm gonna go hop back into editing. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna break and eat lunch so that what happened yesterday doesn't happen again today. I'm gonna say right now, like today's not gonna be a big like, let me take you in and show you how I do everything simply because we're hosting someone and it's a little bit crazy. But luckily all the stuff I'm doing today, editing, coaching, content creation, social media stuff, like I'm doing that the rest of the week too. So you'll definitely still get all of that behind the scenes. So. Let's go back to editing. We're gonna hinge it down and squeeze the armpits. From here, big inhale, exhale, press the floor down. We're gonna clean it up and then bring it back down to the start. Yeah, so aim the bar right in between the arches of the feet. There you go, three more. I actually don't understand every time I have to take the train to this one client, no matter whether it is 6 a.m. or 1 p.m., the train is messed up every single time. Don't understand it. All right, so wish me luck that I make it there. I have an hour and 10 minutes. That should be plenty of time. We will see. Uh, hold on. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not in a good mood. It's just like pouring rain outside. The train was delayed in both directions for unknown reasons. Also low key, our apartment looks like something exploded in it. Long story short, our friend is staying with us because him and Kevin have the same day job for a company and they're doing like a big in-person event, like a field day thing at City Field today, even though it's pouring. So I don't really understand where they're doing it, but there are boxes upon boxes upon boxes of shit everywhere. I am someone who is very affected like mental space wise by the space around me and I feel so <laughs> overstimulated. So here's what we're gonna do. Today was kind of a wash for this video, my bad. Tomorrow our friend is leaving, so I'll be able to chat more. The rest of the day, I'm gonna try and get as much of this YouTube video done as possible. I have two more clients. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed and start fresh tomorrow. So we're signing off for the day because I, <laughs> I just can't. I'll see you tomorrow morning. everybody. Happy Wednesday. Definitely in a better mood today, mostly because um, I slept really well and I only have two clients. Today is my easy day of the week. So I got up at eight. I am walking to my first client now at nine. I have a little bit of a break in there, so I'm probably going to try and get some admin work done. I have another client and then I have to do some on-demand filming and then I'm going to go to the gym. So I'll try and be a little bit um, happier today and <laughs> better at taking you guys along for things. Our friend is leaving around like 11, I think. So I'll be able to chat a little bit more, but let's go lift heavy things and put them down. So I'm just gonna put this guy right up here so that when I'm done with my next client, this is ready to go. I'll make sure I have the long band, which is the only piece of equipment we need in the room. I can just set you up 
and then we can start filming. Ugh, okay, so now what we're gonna do, hello, is quickly, I have about 15 minutes to my client. Tomorrow I'm going to a studio to film, and one of the many workouts that I'm filming is a Swifty Slow Jams dance cardio. We'll see if this translates well. I do have, which I haven't announced yet, I have a Taylor Swift workout program coming in May, but I'm trying to get a lot of the stuff just like pre-filmed because I'm also like waiting for Reputation to come out as well. And God, by that point, she might have a whole new brand, new album. So anyway, I'm trying to get a lot of the stuff just like batched filmed, so it's done. But we're gonna go through and see if we can try and come up with at least like one combo. I'm thinking more like lyrically flowy feel good. We'll see if this computes. <laughs> I want to play on like the bye bye. I almost want to like PK forward up. Bye bye to everything. Step, step, plie up, roll it down and up. Let's try that. Bye bye. All right, that works. From here, we're gonna bring the left arm around the ribcage. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna press the floor away. Big twist up to the right and hold. Good, one more time, breathe into the hand. Exhale, press twist. And bring it back to the center. And we'll switch sides. Hey everybody, this is your rotator cuff health workout. In terms of equipment, you will either need a long elastic band or a very light elastic loop band. Foot work. You better work, foot. Work. Oh, that took so much longer than I expected. I'm going to, look at this room. Mess. I'm gonna clean this up really quickly. We're gonna change into a different shirt and then we're gonna go to the gym. baby that was a great gym session all right here's the plan it is 3 30. we're going to finish up this youtube video literally just means i need to add this box jump in here proof it and then we'll upload it while this is exporting and shrinking down i'm gonna finish making the dances for this taylor swift dance cardio i'll show you how i upload a youtube video because i actually don't think i'm doing that the rest of the week so basically I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna copy this and just paste all of these effects right on top. And then I'm actually gonna grab this guy, cause I like where that sits. I'm gonna place it right here, change it to box jumps, amazing. Make sure that works. Of box jumps. Box jumps are going to work that knee dominant movement pattern. We're going to be hitting that squat at the end. And again, great. And then I need B roll. Let's get this guy. Let's actually double time this. Great. We're gonna put a little like recording feature on top. Specifically, we'll talk about what your central nervous system is, why it's important to prime, and how to do it. So let's start at the all right. So I'm going to proof this and then we'll come back and upload it all. I've talked a lot about the importance of warm-ups and I think where people get screwed up is the idea that they just have to... Hi, sweet girl.
That is gonna be the strangest dance cardio I've ever done. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it dance cardio. I would call it like move and groove in whatever way feels good to you. I don't know what that voice is. Let's keep going. Okay, so we're gonna create a new video, upload, go to my hard drive, drag this bad boy in. Here's my script. So this is the um, title that I decided on. Now I'm gonna go down here, bring that in. Oh, I did wanna add this on my to-do list. Add sources to description. I just have to find, I have like a whole a list of articles that I can just kind of reference back to, but I forgot to go through and put them in the document. So I'll do that later. <sighs> We're gonna go onto my page, playlists. This is gonna go into the science backed playlist. Then I'm gonna scroll down, add my music. This is just my template. If you go into your settings for YouTube, you can customize this. So you don't have to like put it in every time. You can just kind of film or fill in the blanks. Um, let's do, that works. Um, fitness tips, workout. What about warm up? Warm up, workout. I don't know if those hashtags do anything. I just have always been in the habit of doing it. I'm gonna go to my desktop, select my thumbnail that we made earlier. I would click on that. She looks friendly. Science backed. God, I haven't had an ad in a video or a sponsored video in like months. I don't think anyone wants to work with me. <laughs> All right, add my tags. That's too many. I'll just take out the last one. So next, we want to monetize. Um, I always just assume that I've said something, like I've cursed in some way, shape, or form, so I always put inappropriate language. And we're gonna schedule this. So I use Asana to organize all of my social media stuff and my group fitness classes. Uh, YouTube. So this is on the 17th, so I'm gonna check that off the list. And we're gonna schedule this for January 17th, 9 a.m. Schedule, awesome. We're not done yet. So now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna add the end screen. I'm just gonna import from my last video. Make sure it lines up in the right spot. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna change what this recommended video is. Let's do, I already talked about warm ups, and I'm gonna link that. Um, let's do how to plan a workout. I don't know. I don't think anyone ever makes it to the end screen anyway. Um, okay, cards. So I know for a fact in the beginning. One of the most important for the specific movement that I'm gonna after your warm up, which is priming your sandwiches. Now I have a whole video. Great, so that's where I want to put this card for that video at the top. All right, now we're gonna go into monetization. Um, how long is the video? Eight minutes. Let's just do one ad. We don't wanna get greedy, but I do wanna put it Toward the beginning, um, let's do it before we go in the gym. That's like a nice logical transition. I wanna do it early so that people actually make it to that point. <laughs> or activation exercise. So let's go in the other room and I'll show you a few examples. So that feels good. I feel like in an eight minute video, any more than like one ad in the middle, cause you'll usually have one at the beginning and the end is like a little greedy. So now I'm just gonna go Watch it on YouTube, mute her. Gonna give it a thumbs up, just make sure everything looks right. Perfect. 
All right, and usually I would kind of let it play, but I don't feel like waiting here. So that is done. Amazing, it's 420. And we are going to get this footage on here, tidy up the apartment and call it a day. The next two days are wild. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's about 8.15, so it's not even that early. I'm just like, <laughs> this week is kind of kicking my butt. And today is a long one, so let's talk about it. I have to film a little something. It's just like some mobility work. And then I have a virtual training session for someone who actually won it in the giveaway I was doing from the free classes. Then I'm going to a studio to film some on-demand workouts. And there's a lot of stuff that I'm filming today. So I have a stability program coming out, and there's like a cardio stability challenge workout that we're gonna do weekly. And then I have a lot of stuff for the Swifty program. So honestly, not too much exertion with all of this filming today, but I'll definitely like prioritize getting the harder stuff done first. All right, then we're back home. <laughs> I have a virtual training session, a free virtual consultation, again, with somebody who won that from the giveaway, another training session, and then I'm teaching my fit and flow class, which is half strength, half mobility. And then I have a dance rehearsal, which I am just like, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> So that's the day ahead. She's a long one. So I'm gonna start to get ready and we'll catch back up in a bit. Just makes it feel productive just working at home because I need to embellish because he has to like you. I'm gonna think of moving this more escalator on the diagonal rather than elevator up and down. The elevator way isn't wrong. It's just not what our focus is, which is gonna be glutes. That's gonna be more quads, okay? Ah, that was so fun. I stuck my headphones in. I was actually super thrilled that the person who won the free personal training session was someone who came to all of the live classes that week. I would have been happy to do it for, for anyone, but it was just fun because I was used to seeing that name all week and I was like, oh, yay. So she was awesome. She knew how to hip hinge, which is like half the battle. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack up to go film. We have to leave in about 20 minutes. So let's do that now. Hello, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Here's the studio for the day. I'm thinking the way the light's coming in, filming over here, kind of on the diagonal, we'll have to see. Let's play. Here we go. Test, test, test. Hey everybody, this is your 20 minute cardio stability challenge. In terms of equipment, you need nothing except for a mat or a soft space. So let's make our way down to the mat for our warm up. Okay, we're taking a breather for a costume change. We have two done. So I was originally gonna film the dance cardio next because I like to get like the biggest energy ones out of my brain as quickly as possible, but I don't want to put the mat away enough to take it back out. And I'm also not going to film at this angle. So I just want to do the three stretch workouts now. And then hopefully I have the brain capacity to do a dance cardio at the end. We'll see. Luckily it doesn't have to be done till May. So like if I don't get to it today, it's totally fine. Okay, time to tidy up. Sometimes the skull crushers also kind of irritate my elbows. And do we feel the tricep, that back of the upper arm? Good. All right, I have one more client and then I have my class 15 minutes after. So I wrote out the whole program. This was a doozy. This actually like almost took the full 45 minutes last week, like just the strength portion. So I'm trying to be very cognizant of queuing a little faster so we can get to the mobility work. So we're gonna put this right here. Oh, hold on. Oh my God. All right, right here on top of a little book, I almost just knocked this whole thing over. That would have been bad. Get all my knickknacks back. This is Marcel the Shaw with shoes on. This is Zoe. This is Stanley. This is my sister, Nurse Egg. Don't ask. And that's Elsa. She fell in and she's trapped. And then I have a random piggy bank. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Let's go for it. So it's a push up row on the way up. Jesus. 
That light was very intense. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. and I already messed up today. So I got up at six like I normally do on Fridays, but I was like, I have to edit class from last night. And I had plugged you, camera, into my charger to charge the camera for my class today. And my battery on my Mac has just been so terrible. And I, so I left it unplugged all night and the, it, the battery drained and died. So that's not a good sign. Um, so basically I couldn't edit Classroom this morning because I do know that this battery does not, like if it's really, really low, like in the red and I start to edit, it like doesn't charge. So I had to rearrange my day. Let's talk about it really quickly and then I have to get ready. So I have my core class at 8 a.m. I'm going to a client to go train her at nine. Then I have to come back. I have a virtual client at 10, 15. And then I was gonna go to the gym, but I have to edit class. Like, and this is just one of those things, like I gotta do it. <laughs> It's my job. So I'm gonna edit that class. I might try to sneak to the gym after. We're gonna see how I feel. I don't know, TBD. I do have a Fit Club Friday in there. The only one that anyone signed up for is one. So I'm actually gonna go in and delete the rest. I have to edit core. I have a virtual client at 3.15. And then Kevin is working at a new comedy club and it's first his first spot there. So I'm gonna go tonight. So I don't know, this schedule is probably gonna change. I really, basically I moved my workout to tomorrow, but I really don't wanna do it tomorrow. Cause I have to take down the Christmas tree. I gotta clean, I gotta meal prep because on Sunday we're filming the thing that I was rehearsing last night. I also have to film one of the things that I didn't get to yesterday. It's a day, it's a day. This month is very hard in fitness. I'm also like really pushing, literally I have it written down somewhere. I want to make a fuck ton of money in Q1. So I'm really pushing myself here. So yeah, um, we're gonna put on makeup. We're not gonna film it cause you've seen it a thousand times, but I will show you how I prep for core because this class is a little different cause it is like music based. So I'll see you soon <laughs> okay <laughs> makeup is on let's write down our program so class today is glee hits themed this is actually it's actually for i had to redo the four week broadway lover program ask me why i put a glee class in the four week broadway lover program they have broadway songs i guess is what i was thinking it's fine all right, so here is the program. Probably looks like gibberish. Now I'm gonna go through, and essentially this class, the first round, we do all of these exercises for time. So we're gonna do all of these for a minute. Then we rest for a minute, and then we go back and we do it to the beat of a song. So our first song is Me Against the Music. So we're gonna basically go through, and just so it's like seamless, I'm gonna go through and write down like how many times we do these things during the song. So here's the final product, Ooh, lighting. And you can see it is basically hieroglyphics on the side. It looks like a weird math equation, but this is really helpful for me because again, the, the whole point of the class is to make sure it runs smooth. And I haven't done any of these combos before, so I just wanna make sure that it's super clear and I know what I'm doing. Up. Only four here. Inhale down, find that big stretch. Back up. There you go. Hips move first. Yeah. Okay, let's edit class from yesterday and then class from today. So I'm gonna use my training final cut. So I always just use the same project every time. I don't know, but I just rename it. So we're gonna load this guy. We're gonna rename it Flow 111. I'm gonna go through, I want to copy, what's this a, where's the, there we go. So I'm just gonna copy this timer so I don't have to build it from scratch. But essentially it's like a, this is a working timer and then the black one is like the rest. And then I'm going to delete all of this. And then we're gonna come into live classes quickly get a screenshot for our thumbnail. And then I'm gonna drag in all the footage from yesterday. Let's go about here. I'm just gonna paste the timers and I'll move those where I need them in a bit. I know that's super zoomed out. <laughs> we'll fix that in a minute. So I'm just gonna analyze the audio. This is a big clip and also I'm filming in 4K now. So it just takes a lot longer to do everything. 
So this will probably take about five minutes to get through. While we're waiting for that, let's chat really quickly about what I decided to do today. I'm gonna edit this class, which is probably gonna take a good like 30, 40 minutes just because it is so long and the style of the class has a lot of like work rest, work work rest, work rest. So it's just a lot of like little nitty gritty editing. Right after that, we're gonna do a modified version of my skills day workout. I just don't, A, I don't wanna go to the gym tomorrow when it's gonna be so busy. And B, I just really wanna take like a full rest day tomorrow and like really not do anything. <laughs> so tired. So really, if I looked at my program, all I have to do for my skills day is like practice snatches, clean, single arm swings and push presses. I have a 25 pound kettlebell here. That's going to be fine to do all of that. Then I'll eat lunch. Hopefully this is at least done exporting by that time. I can edit my core class from this morning. I do have a Fit Club Friday today. I deleted the rest of them. So I was like, if you didn't snatch them up now, you're not snatching them. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like I decided to film this week. So I was like, oh, I have a lot of stuff going on. It's January and it'll be really interesting. <laughs> It was a little too overwhelming. I do not recommend. And I know someone's gonna be in the comments be like, you're working too hard, you're overworking yourself. I'm fine. I'm used to hustling. I also have found that there's like busy seasons and hustle seasons, and this is just one of them. And honestly, one of my big goals for Q1 is just make like I said earlier, a fuck ton of money. We're going on a pretty lengthy vacation, like the end of April into May. So I just really wanna like milk this as much as I can the first three months of the year. I also just financially like know I have a lot happening right now. Like I'm paying Q4 for last year. And then I always have to remind myself that April is always tough. Well, it has been, I hope it's not this year, but April's typically tough because I, play, I pay quarterly taxes and I've been paying them estimated. So I actually just got a new CPA because I was not thrilled with mine, which maybe we can talk about another time. But basically she set it up so it was like estimated quarterly payments and it just would like get auto deducted from my account. And last year what happened in April was I not only paid Q1 for this year, but I also underpaid for the previous year. So I had to pay more and I like thought I was gonna have a panic attack because then all of a sudden I was like, all my money's gone because I also paid into my Roth. So, I'm just like very well prepared for that this year. And I'm like, great, let's just try to really push ourselves thinking about the big break we have coming up at the beginning of Q2, thinking about the fact that we need to max out our Roth, thinking about the fact that we might get screwed in April financially. Hopefully not though, because I actually did not make as much money this past year. So great, this is done. Let's go back to editing because talking about taxes makes me break out in hives. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is balance the color. And obviously you can see this is super zoomed out. I actually messed up when I bought this lens right here. I usually buy like an adjustable lens. So let's say it would go from like 10 to 18 millimeters or whatever. And I bought one that was 11 and just stuck at 11. And when I film in this room, I usually like it around like 14. So I messed up, but it actually is fine because I can just do this. I'm gonna go in, zoom into 120%. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna look at the floor line and it, let's bring this a little more center. That looks good. The floor line looks a little bit skewed. Let's do, that looks better. And I know you're probably like, I can't even tell the difference. One of my biggest pet peeves and it happens in a lot of my older workouts is like when the floor is like slanted, it's like, girl, are you on the Titanic? Or were you drunk when you set up the camera? Like, why didn't you edit this? So I always look for the floor line. I feel like we can do one more. And sometimes I edit it and then I go in and I'm like, oh wait, that's a little crooked, but it's fine. Okay, so that's all good. Oh, I'm also going to do voice isolation because it's gonna take out a lot of the like, <gasps> a lot of like heavy breathing. Great, um, that looks good for an intro. So what I'm also going to do, go into my workout tracker, because this workout is actually part of a um, four-week stability program that is dropping in February. It's actually new and improved from my old one. So I want to make sure that the music is different for each class, because I do use like pre-recorded mixes. So last week when I did this class, it was like Pitbull, Dua Lipa, Usher, Beyonce, just like pop R&B hits. So now I just wanna make sure that I have a different playlist. So let's go more. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what? This is a fun one. <laughs> Mixed Das Divas. So it's like same vibes, but it's a little, it's actually a little bit more chill, which I think will be good because this workout was really hard. So it'll like bring our heart rate down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is drag it to the beginning. Oh, let's figure out. Starting with those four rings. Okay. So I just want to cut out that little part in the top. Great. So we're going to do, start it at negative five. And then I just like to bring the volume down Starting with those four rings. gradually. So it's like a nice like, so then you can hear me cueing. So. Okay. Starting with those four rainbows, we're going to lay down on the right side. Right. And then that looks straight and even. So because I did the voice isolation, it took out, like there probably used to be a lot of breaths. Excuse me, right here. So I'm going to go through. Just make sure. I can kind of tell now, and I'll show you when I see one. It sounds like my computer's going to explode. This is great. I can usually tell when like there's a lot of just like like breathing. And I'll just try and cut that out. I feel like it's it's helpful to hear my breath, but sometimes it's a little much. So here's one. So that like um I actually don't mind that, but you know, if it was like only that and no cueing, I would cut those out. That looks good. Yeah, I'm just looking for like a big open spot that has crazy breathing. Also, sometimes the mic will like pick up like a truck going by. All right. So then. If you need anything else, take a sec, do it now. But we're going to meet for our first circuit. So obviously I taught this live, so I kind of have to like go over, bring the music down for the people taking it live. But I want to cut out that shift toward the computer. So I'm going to cut all this out. So I'm going to cut out this 10 seconds, bring in just a little cross dissolve. Okay. So we have two circuits. Easy. Great. So then I'm talking about the workout and then same thing when I go back to turn up the music. Let's go for it. So Let's go for it. Let's go for it. 45 seconds. Go. On. Great. So we're going to cross dissolve here. Let's go for it. 45 seconds. Going on that clock. Rack that weight on the shoulder. In three, two, and one. Great. So I just mark where that is. This is a 30 second timer. Get that away. So I'm just going to make this a little bit longer. Let's bring it up to 45 ish. Two and one. Breathe. So 44.23. I'm going to take my timer. Someone actually made this for me for free. So don't ask me how I got this little wheelie. This is just, um, this is like an element in Final Cut. Um, and then I'm going to take the counting and bring it to 45. So now it's a 45 second timer. The nice thing about that is if you like are a little off while you're queuing, you can just adjust it to whatever. So now this should be a 15 second rest. Just a different thing we're used to. Let's go for it. Left leg. Great.
into a front raise, lateral, front and down. As I go through this, I'm resisting any type of movement from my spine. Good, when you come out to the side, try to resist that chest pop, all right? So keep pulling everything in nice and tight. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. I just want to show you guys really quickly. This is a terrible camera angle, but it's fine. Uploading my class from today. All right, so I use Sambal for my Fit Club membership. I'm just gonna name it, Glee Hits. This is a big upgrade from what I used to use. This is choreography, core, abs, endurance, stability, that was definitely cardio. Okay. Um, I just have this template of like all of the different descriptions that I use. I'm going to change the thumbnail. Blue hits. Apply that. Great. And what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I was watching Dr. Mike. So this is what the Fit Club looks like. So it's our whole on demand library. So this was class from yesterday that I finally freaking got up. Um, but it is kind of like auto sorts, which is awesome. And I am so happy that I made the change. Okay, um, here we are. Friday, 4.03. I have to leave here in 27 minutes. So I need to get dressed and ready to go to a comedy show. Since that has nothing to do with work and this is technically the end of my work day, we're gonna sign it off here. Takeaways from this video. <laughs> this week was hard. <laughs> But I know that a lot of people who watch me are also coaches or small business owners. And I always really love seeing the behind the scenes stuff and like what goes into it. Even if it's not my field, it's just something I always think is so interesting, like seeing how people create their own systems and organize their day to day life. So hopefully you found it interesting. Hopefully this video is not an hour long. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And I will see you all in a much shorter video in the future. Goodbye.